Greetings to everyone and welcome back. This is Boxculoscope, a homemade portable oscilloscope that runs completely on battery power, making it portable and simple to carry around. Here we are utilizing the Frenesi 138 Pro, a compact portable digital oscilloscope made for both professional and enthusiast. The idea was to create a scope that resembles a box. is incredibly portable and has a built-in battery pack to operate the device the name bosculoscope is a play on words as we have designed the scope to look like a small box we used fusion 360 to create and build the model and we then 3d printed the parts using gray and transparent pla visit this project instructables to obtain the build instruction and 3d files inside the device there is a power module that uses four parallel lithium cells to boost the voltage of cells from 3.7 volt to 5 volt and generate a steady 3 amp current furthermore the pcb way provided the oscilloscope and power module for this project purchasing a high end oscilloscope is an expensive endeavor for basic testing i got the frenzy 138 pro a portable handheld oscilloscope meant for both enthusiast and pro rather than shelling out a fortune for an oscilloscope that i would use maybe once or twice every 6 months it has a 200 kilohertz bandwidth and a real time sampling rate of 2.5 mega samples per second waveform can be easily viewed on this device 2.4 inch high end lcd disc screen It is capable of measuring voltages up to 400 volt and support many trigger settings. Additionally, it includes an efficient one key auto function for quick waveform display without complex adjustment. As for sourcing this handheld oscilloscope, we got it from PCB Way's gift shop. PCB Way gift shop is an online marketplace where you can get variety of electronics module and board for their genuine price or you could use PCB Way currency which is called beans you get beans after ordering something from PCB Way as reward points or you can get them by posting any project in their PCB Way community over the past 10 years PCB Way has distinguished themselves by providing outstanding PCB and manufacturing services becoming a trusted partner for countless engineers and designers worldwide their commitment to quality and customer satisfaction has always been unwavering leading to significant growth and expansion you guys can check them out if you need great pc service at an affordable rate and low price the prepared model was made up of two primary parts the main body that holds the scope in place alongside with the rocker switch and the power module The second part covers the model back side and it is called the lid part. We created the model so the topmost PCB layer of oscilloscope would be added on the front side. The body would be sandwiched between the first and the second layer of oscilloscope. This way we can easily mount the scope in place using 4M3 bolts with PCB standoffs. 4M2 screws are used to mount the power module inside the main body. Once the model is finished we exported all the files and 3D print every component using a 0.6 mm nozzle and 0.2 mm layer height. Prior to starting the assembly of power module we unscrew the M3 bolt to access the scope's back side PCB. The battery connector are located here. We solder connecting wires to the battery con2 connector which is subsequently linked to the 5 volt and ground terminal of the power module next we added the scope back side pcb in its place again when the power module push button is pressed the scope turns on indicating that the setup is functioning the final phase in assembly process is to remove the scope's top layer first After that we align the mounting holes on the scope with the mounting holes on the main body by positioning the scope inside the body. After aligning the top layer of the scope with the body's mounting holes, we place the top layer on the front side of the main body and then fasten it securely with the M3 bolts.
The push button which resembles rocker switch is then pushed into the designated slot on the left side of the main body. Next, we connected the rocker switch terminals to the power module's push button. These two buttons will be wired in parallel. After positioning the power module within the main body, we fasten it inside with 4 M2 screws. After that, the lid part is positioned on the back and fastened using M2 screws. Next, we attach the name tag on the front side under the screen by first gluing the name tag to the surface and then moving it into the position. The assembly process is now completed. The result is a compact portable box shape oscilloscope with an inbuilt battery pack that we can use to examine any electronic component or device. The device turn on when the rocker switch is pressed for 1 second and then off when it is pressed for 3 seconds. For testing the oscilloscope, we started out by connecting the 10x probe to the oscilloscope BNC port. Next, we utilize a simple Raspberry Pi Pico setup with an LED connected to GPIO 0 and ground. In this setup, we connected the probe negatively to the Pico's ground and its tip to the GPIO 0. Here, we added a fade sketch into the Pico. In the fade sketch, the LED brightness is gradually increased and decreased using pulse width modulation. The analog write function sets the duty cycle of PWM signal. A value of 0 correspond to a 0% duty cycle LED off and a value of 255 correspond to a 100% duty cycle. We can observe the duty cycle change in the oscilloscope, which range from 0% to 100%. This occurs at a linear pace and quite quickly. The signal wave shape is also being observed here. Overall, this project was a success and need no further revisions. In addition, we appreciate PCBWay's support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB-related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly services, as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.